Blog Talk Radio. Warning. Warning. Welcome to the two minute morning. Where sound sound. I'm trying to blow your mind. I'm talking literally blow your mind. I'm trying to blow your mind. I'm talking literally blow your mind. What is up, Fight fans? We are back again with our 30th, 30, I think it's 31st or 32nd. I can't even freaking keep track at this point. It's, it's, my, it's my, like, 23rd. Yeah, Chris Chris is finally back, so that's, that's good. We got Chris back in the house, so the show is actually worse than it was last week, but that is what it is, neither oh. here nor there. Oh. Chris had to, yeah. had to do, put the, the I'll skeleton just ship. It, I'll just shut it down again the last half hour. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Chris, Chris, won't show like, up. If Chris doesn't like what's going on, he just shuts down completely and doesn't even participate in the show anymore. He's the AI. He's yeah. Charles Freeman of the show. <laughs> He's choking well, people. Anyway, we are the Pride Rules Podcast, sponsored by Two Minute Warning. You can check our website out, www.priderulesmma.com. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Pride underscore Rules 2MW. Like our page on Facebook, Pride Rules MMA or Pride Rules Podcast, whatever. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pride Rules Podcast, and make sure that you join the group Two Minute Warning on Facebook. Um, other than that, we got a, a couple things that we could talk about this week. Uh, there's finally some MMA news with uh, you know the fight card that just passed, and then you got the the Aldo Holloway card coming up and. The 185 division, I would like to discuss a little bit into detail today, as well as, if we have some time, the latest in the Conor Floyd um, talks, because there is now more news on the potential fight, the super fight, the, the mega fight, the money fight, the billion-dollar fight, basically, it's as they not call news. it. If it's not news. If it's the WB, whatever, won't sanction it. That's fake. Who cares? I mean, it's nothing. Well, I mean, it's, it's something. It's fake something. news? It, it's, hold on. You know, did Trump call it? fake news, hold bro. On. Speaking. Because it doesn't need to get Speaking. sanctioned. It doesn't even have to be a professional fight. Floyd well, that's, that's why I made, you see, you, you took the words out of my mouth because rewind the tape about 10 to 12 weeks ago. I said if this fight is going to happen, it's not going to be a professional fight. And you fucking pieces of shit it. ripped me a new asshole about it. So, oh, what are you talking about? It's a professional said, fight. If Connor, a new if that Connor might, gets that a loss, it's going to be a loss on Connor's record. Blah, blah, blah. Hey. It's documented on tape. I'll find that shit. Don't make me dig in the archives and find it. I think I Aaron said it's a glorified that. exhibition fight. Which is, which is what no, I said, which is another reason why the fight is probably going to happen then, because it doesn't matter. It's a win-win for everybody at that it's point. Not, it's more than a glorified exhibition because it's two fucking world-class athletes that are going to train hard to fight against each other. If or you know, I wouldn't say fight. I would say box, but it's not. Right. It's not a... You know, it's something that's real, but it's going to generate more money than any event in the history of fucking sports, other than maybe yeah, like a Super Bowl. Yeah, but it's for nothing. It's, it's, not, it's not like Floyd's putting it's a belt on honor. the line because he doesn't Come have on one now. anymore. It's for a, a lot of money. It's a, yeah, but yeah, Floyd's going to make $300 million dollars in a you fucking night, is? dude. You know what it is? It's Rocky Four. Apollo versus fucking Dolph Lundgren. That, that's what it is. All right. And that was a great Rocky Rocky topic Rocky that we may be squeezed in. This is going to be a topic that we may be squeezed in. First of all, go back and watch that Rocky. Go back and watch Rocky Four. Yo, the fight scenes aren't as good as you think. Excuse me. This the is going to be the topic None that we maybe squeeze in if we me. have time. One at a time now. And now we're fucking leading with it. We were going to maybe squeeze this topic in if we had time. Well, and you know what? Let's like just get it over with. Let's, let's knock it out of the park right here. <laughs> exactly. The WBC isn't sanctioning the fight. It's kind of a weird, a weird discussion anyway, if you think about it. Like, like, all right, it's basically for bragging rights. Like, you I'm have sorry. To have amateur like, boxing matches. If nobody you considers Conor cold. McGregor the best right. fighter of all time. Many consider Floyd Mayweather one of the best boxers of all time. Considering I don't Muhammad Ali, whatever. There's there's other greats out there, but he does hold some fine. rank there. It's, sure. it's just weird to me yeah. that like Yo. Conor just basically did this himself by hyping himself up, winning fights that he said he was going to win. And where Conor has brought himself at this short period of time, I think it's fucking remarkable. 
in that's my what opinion. I'm saying. And that's I just wanted to, to to revel in the greatness that is Conor McGregor and basically rub it in Tommy's face for being such a hater for all these years. You could say wow. what you want it about must be the so of the bad to like it must be so shitty to hate like both Nick and Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor. That's gotta be <laughs> right. such a well, fucking he likes rough Nick life. Diaz, Nate Diaz because he beat Conor for you know one little smidge in there, but it is. <laughs> <what> it is. <laughs> Is that the is that the, the imitation of Nate Diaz? Come the on, Nate Diaz man. imitation. Ooh, man. I've been living nice and good, not being a fan of theirs. Uh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Nice and good, guys. Not just yeah, one. Nice right. and Both. good. Nice Connor and comes good. out saying, "Floyd, I sign my end. Sign your end, or you're, if not, you're just a mouth." Like, dude, he is a wizard with his lips. I love this. Like, Floyd Mayweather gets on That's more game. like begging to me. That, that's the that's guy like he's begging. I've also been telling me you're after dark. You're telling me, you're lips, you're telling me <laughs> hashtag pillow talk with Chris or Carl, either or. Hey. Um, you're telling me that <laughs> the if, if you're Floyd Mayweather, that wouldn't pump you up to, to sign the fight? Like, come on. Why should it have to pump him up? I don't understand. Because why should it pump it's him a lose lose for Floyd. Like Sweet he's supposed to win the fight, up. and if he doesn't win, yeah, but it's a huge it, lose for him. Huge. If he doesn't do the fight, he, he's still going to be forty nine to zero. That you know, there's only one other person that's retired undefeated. Yeah. And he fought right. his brother. You think he gives a shit? So that Yo, doesn't count. It's not no. going to be a professional worth, fight. So even if he loses, he's, he's going to be forty nine zero. Right, thank you, Chris. All he's still, still going to be undefeated even if he loses. It means nothing. All it is is for the bragging guy, rights yeah, for Conor. The guy signs $100 million checks every day. He does not give a flying fuck about Conor McGregor. Like, I then don't he know, should have no, a Then he should for somebody, never, for somebody to say that to somebody else's fight. position, like, yo, Floyd has a chance to make $300 million for a night to, to box a guy that's never boxed before in his life. What the fuck do you mean he doesn't care? Yes, he does. He cares. He wants to fight him. If he cared, he would have signed the contract him. already, wouldn't he? Well, he's trying, to, make, he's trying already, to make it the best contract possible for him. He's notorious for doing that. Right. Everyone on this right. panel can Thank agree you, that this is his move. And, right. and it's not, and it's a, it's a brilliant move because you know what? Connor did outmaneuver Connor him at least at first. He, he, he outmaneuvered him at first in terms of hyping the fight. Getting yeah. everybody to give a shit and starting the ball rolling. So now Floyd has to take the reins back and say, hey, I'm the A side of, of this, whatever it is, whatever right. you want to call and it. That's what it's I want to get down to with Floyd. Floyd it's ruined split. boxing with that A side, B side bullshit, if you ask me. I it's never the heard truth, that though. Shit. I mean, you see that in every card. You see it Bro, with, come no. on. You never saw that shit fucking when we were growing up. Never, ever, yeah, ever, ever. Yeah, but dude, ever, you ever have seen shit. it. Every fight that's poster. That's when heavyweight you've boxing seen. died. Like, look at Claudia Floyd versus Carolina fight poster. Claudia's in front. Yeah. Carolina's kind of behind her looking back. Like, other than the Holloway Aldo card. No, but Carl. Look at that poster. I'm talking about money. The UFC fighters don't negotiate money per fight the way they do unless you're a they champion. Should. Unless you're and if they did, they'd make a lot more money probably. So well, that's the, coming. But, but the the fighters union is coming remains, one day and that's going to happen. Remains, it's, it's, a, it's a way different, you know, it's a way different approach to the way Connor they does. their fighters. Connor negotiates. He probably renegotiates after every punch he throws, for God's sake. Well, Connor's got, <laughs> a, <laughs> belt. Connor's got a belt. Connor's got a belt and he brings in crazy numbers. So he's, so he's an yeah. exception to the rule. So right. that's Floyd, no, Floyd the belt? doesn't. Floyd does not. Floyd doesn't bring in crazy numbers. Floyd needs a dance partner Wait, to Connor bring in those numbers. Look at his bird Connor has two belts, motherfucker. Connor has two belts. Connor has two belts. Wait, what are we going to say? He... Oh, my God. What, what division? Who's, who's the UFC champion? champion? He's the 145 pound exactly? champ, and he's the 155 pound champ. He knocked out the guy who holds the belt right now in 13 he seconds. Both. I don't want to hear shit. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Oh, really? He's got that guy chasing him around the fucking I can't UFC. Take, I'm sorry, bro. I've been watching fucking. I've been watching fucking embedded, and I can't take him or his entire team serious. It's just, it's just like I just can't. Oh, Aldo is a clown. To me. Oh, I know. Well, I could. There's, there's, there's no way I can disagree help it, with you on the Aldo. <laughs> I can't stand him. Never could. Right. Like and Omar said, Never Connor could. literally owns real estate in his brain and he's yeah. had it since the fucking first world tour that they went on and then mm-hmm. continued with the second when he knocked yeah. him out he has this guy on literal oh, tour. could you imagine yeah. you know yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna make a comment real quick oh. could you imagine what how good um the Petanaris team is going to be once they get the first world training facility <laughs> did anybody <laughs> see that Wait, what? I haven't watched it. He was like, he was I like, usually watch like him like the months. last day of the week. In like three months, our, our training facilities, our new training facility is going to open up. We're going to finally have first, 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 first world. Shit. 
Yeah. No, he's oh been saying that for a while. Third world countries he's, referred to us as first world. Said, first of all, no, fuck that motherfucker. That. That's a dude no, who holds those submissions extra, right? And like tries to break bones. No, Ooh. that's 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 uh, Paul Harris. Harris. I'm talking about oh, Paul Harris. Harris. Okay, right, 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 right. Okay, okay. okay. Wrong Brazilian. Fuck that guy anyway. Nobody <laughs> now. He's a, he's... <laughs> Emil Mech <laughs> knocked him out. The crazy Viking. The crazy Viking. Yeah, he did. First of all, I love Emil Mech. I love him. Yes. But. Whatever. It's, it's beautiful. That's neither here nor there. I love this beer. Anyway, R.I.P. The, Con- the Connor Floyd here. business is, is is starting to gain some ground. You got Connor continuing talking shit. The WBC said they're not going to sanction the fight. So at this point, it's one step closer to being an exhibition, which it's would a good make thing the that there's fight like even more. WBO. There's just so many other sanctioning bodies in, in boxing that, you know, that doesn't really necessarily mean anything. Yeah, you know? I know. You got WBC, WBO. You got you got a bunch and of boxing. Floyd, Floyd doesn't currently hold any belts, so it's not for a belt. You know, like they don't need. They don't. No, need that's it. the thing. It's for bragging gonna... rights. For what reason would Floyd even take this fight for bragging rights? You're supposed to win if so you like lose I your fucking said, awful. You lost to a fucking MMA fighter who never like boxed said, in his life. It's, it's awful it's for a boxing. Glorified exhibi- exhibition fight. That's what well, it is. Glorified all, exhibition fight. You motherfuckers. That's what I said weeks ago. God damn no, it. No, I, I disagree with that because Carl 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 it's a glorified. It's just it's Carl not Carl a pro Stradamus. fight, but I'm you, it's not a pro fight yet, but. It doesn't mean it's not going to be because the WBO, the IBF, there's a there's other governing bodies in boxing that that could sanction it. It doesn't have to be sanctioned by the WBO. The International Waters Fight League of America, which is what gave Evander Holyfield his last couple of so fights. if they really want right. to get this shit done, they could go to like the Philippines and no fucking go. Yeah, you know, they could. And the, and the they'll Russia have would do it. on the undercard. If you know that, yep. like they'll have, they'll start with like Russia would do it. They fights. let Mickey Rourke fight there. So and he hell? won legitimately, a hundred percent, right? No, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't right. win legit. <laughs> no, he <laughs> did. Paid off. <laughs> so they mouth. have like they, they could go to the Russia and do it because you could like the crazy MMA matches I've seen in Russia where it's like six on three yeah, or they something. Yeah, they take steroids like. and shit when they or do they it. Or like, they can put on medieval gear. You can have a medieval times break out into an actual fist yeah, fight. Yeah, you could literally like, like have like a steward just go nuts. Like I'm gonna, worse than you can reality. fight five on five. Like the team, like SBG can fight fucking all those camp. And in, I think in, the morning in, star, sir. Could I get a morning star and a shield? And uh, <laughs> let me sit up. I got this. Oh man! So, At this point, I think we're spending too much time on it. <laughs> right. I was just gonna say, let's put that to rest. We don't, you know, we we now the news has been posted. Everyone knows about it. Everyone understands the fight is one step closer to happening for whatever reason. I don't know, but either way. We slice it. We got a uh, a pretty big card this weekend. Um, I'm kind of pumped up for it. I mean, I'm only really pumped up to see like one or two fights. Um, I'm not even really that pumped up for the Carolina Claudia fight. I usually am um, after what? watching the jo- the Joanna. I I mean, I get it, but I watched that Joanna fight again, and she beat the shit out of that poor girl. I mean, she did come on late in the fight and busted her up a little bit because, but she's you know, a she's tough as nails, Carolina. Um, but I don't. I don't Everybody, know. I said it to you. I was like, yo, she got her ass beat. Everybody's thinking that that was a close fight. She caught her once. The only reason it was a close was... fight is because, yeah, she fucking had her basically every... inches from being beat. Inches with those hard punches. But she but took she lost a every round. Beating. She lost every round. A beat. Right. She did. She even lost a round where she put her down. She took a beating. And I honestly think that Claudia's skill set plays better into the, the, the factor of the fight, because I don't think she's going to stay on the outside like Joanna did and even give Carolina a chance to to land those type of punches. I mean, it could still happen, of course. I just think there's going to be a lot more grappling, a lot more clinch work, and, and you know, a, lo- a lot more on the ground, which I think Claudia is going to eke out the fight. That's why I'm not too excited for it. I want Carolina to win, but, you know, I don't even care. None of these girls are Nobody gives a shit. Right. Well, I, I don't care about the 125-pound men. I certainly don't care about the 125-pound women. So you don't care about Joanna mm-hmm. Champion at all? You're not, like, it's pumped one, up? Is it 125? You know, like, really? she, like, who is she going to kick the shit out of next? Like, when let her move up. All right, she's actually fighting at what, 115? She's not even fighting at one. That's what I was going to say. I was right? literally yeah. thinking that in my head right now. I'm like, I don't know if she's even 125. But I, I can't I, do I, math too good, guys, anymore after <laughs> my TBI. But uh, I think it's 115. Well, you, you, know, you get my it's point. The lack you catch of my drift. Sure. <laughs> of depth. I'll beat the shit out of That's fucking Joanna. All it is. 
fucking up. Beat the shit There's out of no She would fuck you up, bro. She would chip your mouth up. You would, you would be eating out of the through a straw for a fucking month. So I used to have this conversation about, like, Ronda Rousey, too. Like, I, like she's a fucking 130 pounds, 140 pounds. Like, I would fucking kill her. Ronda would flip Honestly, you. Ronda, Ronda, Ronda ain't punch doing shit right with her judo. What's she going to do, hip toss you? Big fucking deal. Punch her judo right in the shit. Judo is so ancient, it ain't doing nothing today. That's oh my god! Do you remember when people <laughs> actually know, I, had the balls I, I, to say that Ronda could beat Floyd and like? Yeah, <laughs> dude, like Jason Ronda Whitlock. Can't. There's a video on Facebook. Jason Whitlock talking about Ronda Rousey. How we as a society, and uh, really the media, pumped her up to like this most untouchable athlete. Like she won like Women Athlete of the Year when like Bro, Serena won was, every was, single tournament that she was in. He pumped himself up on sandwiches. So I don't know if there was serious on. debate. There was serious <laughs> debate right. going on where like people really were like taking the side that Ronda Rousey would beat up a fucking professional boxer. Floyd Mayweather. What? Like Connor might Floyd not be the best fight, ever. But Ronda's like, gonna beat him with those ever. hands. That stand up. Please. But Connor's got no chance whatsoever. But Ronda would fuck him up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds about accurate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, honestly, this this two twelve card, I'm really I'm really pumped up to talk to, to deal with Aldo Holloway. Obviously, we'll get to that. Um, other than the Claudia Carolina fight, there's really not much excitement in terms of storyline going on. Obviously, you got Vitor Belfort's swan song against Nate Marquardt, which um, it's like the Legends League that they were talking about. Right, right. I mean, I can, I can see Mark Hart beating him just because he looks better and stronger uh, in, physically. Um, that but, beard you know, is doing it but, for me. Bro, I've, seen seen such an intriguing, I've seen such an intriguing video on YouTube, speaking of Vitor, and it was like the 10 most unbeatable fighters of all time, and it was like horse meat, Overeem, TRT, Vitor, Sea level Kane. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was no. He's he's a different person. He's a completely different animal when he's allowed to be on TRT. And I'm super excited that he's made indications that he's going to go to, like uh, I think Japan, and fight, continue fighting afterwards. After, just where he can yeah, be on and I'm super is. excited. I cannot wait for that to happen. And I hope that he beats up all of the Japanese parliament. They can try. He's going to get other judo by Ben Askren at, at like middleweight. <laughs> That'd be amazing too, by the way. That that hair. If they both let their curly hair out, imagine yeah. the amount of just angry. They get tangled pro. together in their hair. Yeah, exactly. I still say be, Askren yeah. takes it. Me too. That happened I still to me playing popcorn football, football, football when I was younger. My helmet got stuck with someone else's, and I was like Bro. running around <laughs> fucking. This is, what That's the hell's going on here? I think Calvin Gastelum shut down Vitor quick. I think. I think. Um, Askren would do it too. The, me too. Ben Askren would beat the fuck out of Calvin. Just he would literally hump his leg for five rounds. Elvin Gaslam is one good-looking guy, by the way. <laughs> he's yeah, he's top ten. Body he was just sure. he was just yeah. at uh, City Field with Chris Weidman doing uh, batting practice with the Mets. <laughs> Nobody cares. It's amazing. Chris Weidman. Those two are about to fight. They should, hanging out. they should sign him. They should sign him for how good the Mets are doing this year. I think Kelvin <laughs> might actually help him out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo, he did you see catch like? Those Man, two, like crazy. you know, they have the whole they, they have the whole summer kickoff uh, press conference or whatever with all those fights. You got fucking Michael Chiesa trying to kill Kevin Lee for co- talking about his mom. Kevin Lee, no, no, him. for wearing he that shit. Co- talking about his really mom. He was like, he was like, trying to kill he was him. like, you ain't got no one coming to this fight. Maybe your mom come to this see you fight. That's about yeah, it. You the only no reason Michael Chiesa blew wasn't up even the whole thing that happened with his, his father. His father passed away while he was on the Ultimate Fighter, and you know, I think like because of that storyline, he has a little more juice in terms of. Parenting, like no, if someone says I that don't. about our mom, dude, we're gonna say the same shit. You know, like other fighters say anything about his we're mom. We're really talking reacting. parenting juice right now. Like, hold on a second here. Parenting. <laughs> if anything, he was wanna... taking a shot at his dad. Yeah, he... like you know, I mean, like right. Jesus, you know, if he had said like he your did mom say is after that, he was like, I don't dad. give a fuck, your mom, your dad, whoever. That's what he exactly. said. His dad died. That's so, terrible. Kinda... Terrible. Either way, my point is about that. You know, you had guys beefing constantly. You got the John Jones Cormier thing where they weren't even allowed to square or face off with each other. And then you got Gastelum and Weidman coming out, like shaking hands, hugging each other. It was like the complete opposite end of the spectrum with those two. And, and now you got them, like, what are they, like, standing cartwheel 69s, like in City Field, like taking batting practice and shit, scissoring each other's buttholes and stuff. Like, that's Whoa. corny. I don't, I don't want to see that with fights. I want to see Nate Diaz. Nick Diaz calling people out, George, bro, you know, like going over to the corner yeah, of guys he was boys with and then fucking trying no to call them out. And what kind of fight that could be? What? 
I, you that say you so hate not true, I think bro. you like WWE. I do not want to hear that on. one bit. I can't. I, do not, I don't. I don't buy that for a fucking second. And it's all about. Here's what I'm. Here's the the reason I'm going to disagree with you because the fight itself, they they might go in there and have one of the best fights, but no one will get to enjoy it because nobody gives a shit about it. If you see two guys that really hate each other, the whole world's going to watch, and right. and that's what makes it more captivating. It's got some fucking viscosity. You know, like there's there's more to it. That's, <laughs> You know, like there's certain people it's bring extra to the table, <laughs> and, and Weidman just doesn't do it, or Calvin and Weidman together just don't do it. There's a mucus you know? in there, and it just gets people. I'm, honestly, like it, 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 for the speaking of the UFC, uh, UFC uh, standpoint, like they want Gastelum to win that fight just because. But I, of course. I, 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 I kind of, I, I just want Weidman to win. Honestly, He's I feel bad for Weidman. using Rosetta Stone to take it a couple of that. I just want him to get a get a win under his belt, and then he can do what he's. I don't think do. Dana White likes Kelvin because of the whole weight cutting issue. You know, like. Yeah, well, I agree with that. I mean, I think Dana White should up, probably just so. smoke a bowl with Kelvin, and I think if they get to know each other. Then <laughs> well, they were they were idea. hugging for the picture at City Field. Standing car. Wasn't Kelvin? They, they wasn't Kelvin looked like suspended? they were sharing a fucking ice cream cone together. Uh, Whoa, that like. got super awkward because that's at the beginning of the, the Netflix uh, show Sense8, and that freaks me out every time it comes out. I don't know if <laughs> any of you guys... each other's bottles? No, sharing an ice cream cone. There's a lot of ice cream cones. Anything dairy, like, think about, like, eating somebody else's dairy? scoop of someone else's exactly. cereal or something like that. Yeah, like, I'll, never, yeah, I'll that. never take a sip of someone else's milk, chocolate milk. Uh, I could just, I milk just can't. That's like, if somebody takes a sip of that's my McDonald's lie. milkshake out of my straw, I'm like, you could just keep it. You're good. <laughs> it just go, first of all, how could you do that? Second of all, keep yeah. that shit. You know, like, you're, you're gross. I don't get you. You won't do... I don't get you. Like you you better won't do be that, like, but you'll Mike, blow you better... some random dude at the bus stop. I don't get it. Oh, <laughs> oh no. The pilot <laughs> station. left field. It's a homophobic yeah. joke. Slur. At the pilot station. <laughs> anyway, stop, Chris. Peter Belfort versus Nate, I'm Nate talking Marquardt. Late day. Late day. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, other than the fact that it's Belfort's last fight, they really, he really, like, he knows it's his last fight. He should be juicing to the gills. Who gives a shit? You just go in there, you win the Pretty. fight. You have... You have that moment in your front of your hometown, your home country, and no, you, know, you, you can never you take that away from them. Who cares if they Mark make Mark's it a no contest too. if he fails? Like, who Mark cares? His legacy, but if he yeah, fails, like his legacy is already that of a fucking juice set. But if you've seen, like, it, they, they showed exactly. that the final, the That's final, um, the final, you know, side by side of Vidor's career. Oh, you know, God. The, it's terrible. The, the, the they did it on the Joe Rogan podcast and, the other day. The or one of the ones I was watching. Version, like, they showed, like, all six of his. Like post CRT fights, he just becomes more and more of an old man. Like every three months, so time is a motherfucker. Unless you right. have, I the mean, right, it's supposed to happen. The thing is, the it's right just stuff, such a drastic yeah. drop off so quickly. Like usually, when a guy's like in his mid thirties, yo, rip. he's got like yo, yeah. he went from being the most insanely yoked up person, like head kick knocking out everybody. He was running through that division like fucking wildfire, and then now he's got like the Tim Sylvia belly button. Horizontal belly button, oh, <laughs> it's like a no. frowning like, mouth. Frowns hey. at you. Jesus. <laughs> hey, <laughs> not all of us have the six pack abs. All right, that that cuts a little too close to home here. Jesus oh, Christ. Christ. Yeah, but yo, right. you're not fucking. You weren't like six months ago. You weren't yoked up with traps that fucking. You know, come on. Traps, Who knows? Right, right. Had we done video six months ago, you might have known a different Omar Sanger. <laughs> I was anyway, prepping. I think Mark Quart's going to win the fight for some reason. I don't know why. I just do. Um, oh, okay. But yo, he's looking. He's looking haggard too, though. I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> he does kind of look haggard. These guys have been in the game. Well, is this the Logan, is this the fight sponsored by Logan? By the movie Logan? Because that would make a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Quart's been, you got to think about it. Mark Quart's been knocked out a lot. What kind of chin does he really have left? Yeah, but here's yeah, what but I was going to say. Wins, Do you though. think a big beard kind of like softens the shots on your chin a little bit? It worked for yeah. Kimbo Slice. Kimbo Slice. Yeah, right, that's what I'm really bringing it up. I mean, it didn't help Connor okay. when Nate caught him with that one shot because I guess it, it, gets, it gets through the beard. But if, I'm talking that like a really a thick beard, bro. Like a nice, thick about? African like beard. Like calling like, my beard a beard. African talking about like a Roy Nelson beard. That's, you know, like we're a black that's man what I'm, beard. Yeah, like a big fucking like biker beard or a Kimbo Slice beard. Like... Like, yep, you know, it is what it is. I got white beard. people hair. A black guy doesn't have the same hair as me, so the hair that grows on his face. Like, if Tyrone Woodley grew his beard out for six months, Racist. wouldn't he be able Speaking to Tyron, Woody, that's, a, that, that's what I'm saying. Mark Hart has some big wins, man. He fucking starts Woodley. 
he start you know he starts Maya. Yeah, really when he had the that. testosterone of a of a T Rex, wasn't he Let also? Them both juice. They both should just fucking juice and yes. say fuck it. I don't care. I don't Please. even care what the UFC says because you know what? I'm if gonna have juice, my moment. This becomes a co-main event, in my opinion. If you allow <laughs> both of them to they just jump, it jumps right over to Carolina Claudia. I just what I'm right. saying, fuck that shit. And then you just have these two guys go at each other like just yoked out gorillas with veins in their foreheads, just <laughs> lathered up, wanting to kill they each other. Both, they just Super butt needles. cheeks from all the needles they were putting in That's there. That's what I'm saying. Uh, just <laughs> track marks on their oh eyeballs. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> well, I mean, Tommy, who do you got in this fight? Why? I'm gonna go with Marquardt just because yeah. Vitor's. Done until he's That's exactly start what I'm saying. Again. Like it's not it has nothing to do with what how good Vitor is or how good Marquardt is. It's how like fall, far I think Mark or uh, Belfort fell off. That that's just what it is. Not skill wise necessarily. I mean physically. You know, you're like, not who does do Vitor same. even train with at this point? Like who does anyone even MMA even fucking like this guy? Like who can he even out of the gym? You have to like he's train in his backyard. I think. <laughs> and Masvidal. And Masvidal. They're bringing it back. It's down in Florida. It's in Tampa. It's in a back alley, right? They drink yeah. during the day. Yeah, that's about it. Yo, about Joey, right. the Joey Diaz. When the Black broke up, when the Black Zillions <laughs> broke up, it was really like, you know, it left like a lot of those guys without a, a fucking team. They all were orphaned now, right? They're training orphans. They all have yeah. to hang on to fucking Henry Hoof, of all people. When when that's your A, a game, you're done. And all speaking right? of yeah. fucking Anthony Johnson, what is his tweet all about? Like, I got to show these boys how to throw uppercuts. That was like the slickest. He's, no, he's got the itch. I've ever seen in my life. He's got the itch. I can't itch. believe you're bringing this up now. Right? We have a flow to the show here. All right, we're talking about <laughs> the Aldo card. We're going to get to the Fight Night Gustafson card where Johnson mm-hmm. talked about the uppercuts that fucking peppered his chin fucking six times. Like, how could you even talk Whoa. shit about that? Right, no, he you're has right. two cards. You're terrible, all right? <laughs> and then, yo, know, not only the three uppercuts, but the sidestep after the third one. Yeah, dude, that was that slick, angle. bro. That shit was pretty fucking decent. textbook. It's pretty All difficult. right, we'll, we'll get to that. I really, because there's more to that that I want to talk about. But, you know, to the main event now. Like, um, we were talking about fight posters before. Like, the UFC doesn't know who to build this as the top bill. I mean, Aldo's the champ, but you, can you really sell him as a champ after he got slept like that? Like, I consider Holloway yeah. more the champ because he actually worked his way to a point now where he's won 10 no, fights. He, like, Aldo's he, coming he off he a win. He battered Anthony but, Pettis. He battered Anthony that's Pettis. That's what I'm saying. A, fucking, a heavy, like, a fat around. Anthony Pettis. Like a fat bastard, Anthony Pettis. Oh, my God. Oh, right. Jesus. He was like three pounds oh, overweight. He fat son of a bitch. If we're going no. that route, then, like, Jose Aldo is definitely the Brazilian odd job. Doesn't really talk well. <laughs> He's kind of looking like a squinty-eyed killer. He has some facial scars. If you put him in a weird hat, I could totally see this happening. But nobody. It was so awkward when Connor that. said that. He was like, "Bro, after your last fight, I see the left side of your face drooping." And I look at oh. I look at all those face, and I'm like, "He had he obviously had like surgery to like yeah. fix his face at one point. Yeah. Like, how could you even say that? That's, That's terrible." Totally, but, like yeah, he he I think he got like muscles in his face cut from getting yeah. jacked or something. Exactly. And this poor bastard. That cuts close to home too, man. Jesus, I've had facial surgery. I have a belly. Like this 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 show. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to give you a bad. complex, Omar, this show? Yeah, yeah. Is. Jesus, we're <laughs> never moving a video after well, this. Connor's, Connor's a wizard with the lips and the tongue, so we already discussed oh, that, but believe okay. that is it is. But this Aldo Holloway fight, yeah. like, like you rewind like f- three years back, and Aldo takes this on everyone's fucking opinion, everyone's. Now, it's a completely different story. Um, Holloway has a lot of the momentum going, partly because of the whole Connor you know, dismantling of Aldo and then him still getting the belt. Like, a lot of people feel like it's a bogus belt. I don't know how about you guys, but I feel that way. Omar, like, would you agree with... 100% Fugazi. That belt is a Cracker Jack box belt, okay? Right. That's not It's not even worth it. Now, if, if you agree with me, I'm assuming the other two agree with me, too. Um, oh, but this smart. fight could be... This fight is going to be really interesting. Like, just the fight styles, it's going to probably be a stand and bang, and someone's probably going to get flipped or stopped, you know, TKO-wise if not a decision. Like, there's not going to be a submission win in this fight, I don't think. I mean, if it's going to be a submission win, it's probably going to be Aldo pulling off a fucking rear naked choke or, you know, an arm bar or something stupid. I can't see Holloway getting arm barred, though. It just seems like it's, you know, it just it's too much of a mistake for a guy who's literally been on the top of his game since he lost to Connors in that decision. But, um, you know, I'm intrigued, man. This fight definitely has a lot of juice to it because 
of the implications. Like, if Aldo loses, that's fucking it for him, dude. Like, I don't know where the hell he's going to go after that. He better fucking jump to 155 just to try to avenge the Conor loss because he is haunted by those 13 seconds. We said it before. We'll say it again. Without another fight with Conor and without a win, his career is undefined at this point. I don't care what he did and how great he was. Conor came in and owned his life. I think we got somebody... Somebody chomping at the bit to talk about Holloway. You think we should let him on? I think we should let him on. What do you guys think? Yeah, bring him on. I figured he was going to call in. his neighbor, so I'm sure, you know. He's right. He said he was going to call in for the fight, so at least. Call you're on. Word. What's going on? Yo. 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 What's up? What's hey, up, Mike? Mike? What's going on, fellas? How you Nothing doing? Much, How man. you doing? You actually called in the week of the fight, so I got to give you props. Good shit, man. Thank you. Well, man of I, I did. I did catch your uh, anal scissoring. No, that's uh, always a nice reference <laughs> for the show. <laughs> that's from workaholics. In case anybody wants to know, that's one of the better shows. No, the first that's few totally seasons. not. That's I'm just from your mind. That's the attic <laughs> that they call. Carl's I'm mind. not gonna lie. Every time I say it, I picture it in my head. So you know, I actually do see it happening. Maybe I just watch too much porn. I don't know. I, that's probably it. Too. <laughs> well, Mike, you called in. We'll give you your your, uh, your time to, to shine. Hey, what, what do you? Uh, obviously, you're leaning Holloway. Obviously, um, obviously. Yeah. Any specific reason? Like, what's your take on what's going to go down? He's fucking I mean, better. I, I, I just like the guy. I mean, obviously, <laughs> right, he's a better, better fighter. And, and, Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Aldo. I mean, Aldo's just uh, you know I never really like cared for him, but I mean, how, how do you, Holloway's kind of like how do you not like that guy? He hardworking guy, fought his way up, grabbed every ring, and that was his shot. It's uh, unfortunate that he's got to fight a paper champ, but that's kind of the the the, the draw he's got to go with. Um, it's nothing but trouble for me if he wins, because obviously then he's going to end up fighting Frankie, and then then I'm screwed. That's true. That's a big. That's a weird uh, matchup after I that. Think, whole I don't know, match. man. I don't know that Frankie gets that fight. How might just keep where is it going to go? Where's the division going to go if it's not Frankie? I mean, they got to at least give Frankie one more chance since he beat Yair. I, I just don't right. see anyone else up there. Uh, where's Chet Mendez? Is he fighting still, or is he just like a hunter now? He's he suspended? Uh, it, it doesn't matter where he is, though, because Frankie beat him in 35 seconds, so he doesn't Jesus get a shot. <laughs> right. Pretty much everybody that's that's below Frankie, Frankie's already fought and beaten. <laughs> Mike, so, are they the, are the they marketing this better out by you? Like fill us in on that they a don't little ha- bit. Like, they don't. I mean, they don't have to. People know what time it is. Um, okay, okay. Because you know, like, it's, it's kind of it's, 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 it's kind of more in just in the lifestyle. You know what I mean? There's a there's okay. talk to anybody. There's so much, so many more people I know out here that if they're boxing, they're, they're jujitsu or something. Dudes are driving around with the stickers from their gyms on their cars. There's a handful of them on the island. I mean, there's Sweet. there's fights between guys between islands. There's guys fly out from Oregon, California to fight out here. It's a pretty good amateur pool and, and a pretty knowledgeable fan base. And you just, where Holloway's from is no joke. I mean, um, I don't know if anybody's ever been out here, but it's on the opposite side of Oahu from, you know, the mark, the, the, the stores and, and you know, uh, yeah. and all that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It's on the opposite. It's on the opposite side of the, the island. The violent crime rate there is is probably half of what it is in a major city, the St. Louis, right. uh, Detroit. The only thing is that they measure it by the thousand people, not by the you know population standards. Is by the thousand, not by the hundred thousand. And people aren't getting shot and stabbed. They're just getting good old fashioned ass whoopings. Do I hear that? Is that Hawaiian wind that I hear in your phone right now? Yeah, I'm outside. How warm is the Hawaiian wind, man? I'm jealous as hell. Uh, 86 and breezy. God, I oh, hate Jesus you right Christ, now. you're such a bastard. <laughs> I oh, told you God. I hated you right now. Not to poo-poo <laughs> your whole but I appreciate that, but yeah. That's but, but, but Yeah, but either way, I mean, I mean, you're coming from a people that are just more knowledgeable. It's more, it's, it's more in their, uh, just in their day-to-day, I guess, conversation. So it, it's not really something that I even register the marketing of because I've known this. Obviously, you guys know I've, been, <laughs> I've known this fight was coming for the last six months. It's been the fight I've been waiting for. And a, a lot of people out here... That's kind of how it goes. So, right. uh, for me, Can like you, I said, it's just he comes from. Go ahead. Go, no, no, no. You're, you, you call in. I want to give you your, your, your no, time. No, I was just gonna say. I was gonna say a couple of, double that. You know, double down on the fact that you know Kendall, Kendall's from Maui, and you know, you know Maui's Maui, and it's touristy and everything like that. Where this right. dude is from is not touristy. Maui is you blonde hair, white people. Yeah, like this That's dude. Maui. This dude grew up fighting every <laughs> fucking day of his life, yo. <laughs> yeah. I've been like, to Maui. 
I've been to Maui. Yeah. Dudes that look like Mike. That's that's the Maui. Ah. <laughs> Mike oh, yeah. But, but either way, I mean, you go to you go to his you go to his like there's you know for example there's roads on Maui that they're like hey don't drive on this road it's not paved. They straight tell you don't even drive your car to that side of the island over there. They don't want you there. It's their turf. They don't want the military guys over there because Wahoo's real heavy military. They don't want that. They just want to be Hawaiian and be you know do their thing and and fight amongst themselves and they'll fight you if you're riding your bike at the wrong time of day. It's, you know not in a good way or a bad way. It's just that's that's their spot. They don't want the other stuff that's going on and that's much respect to it. I get it. That's right. why I'm out here. I didn't want a lot of stuff that was going on back in Jersey, so I came out to say I, I respect Where are you stuff. watching the fights, Mike? What, 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 what's the plan for Saturday? Uh, for me, I'll, I'll probably end up having to work, and for me, unfortunately, work falls right at the time of the oh. fights. So I'll probably just end up catching a replay. Yeah. Jesus. Price, price, of a, price of a night job outside next to the beach. Sometimes you got to work on Saturdays. That's fine, man. Well, all That's the time you got to work Well, I'm sure Saturday. you'll know if he wins if, like, cars start getting flipped over in the fucking street. <laughs> there's even, fires it's not even, and shit it's going not even on like everywhere. It's like the Lakers won. It's not even, it's right. <laughs> hey, Mike, it's I'm going like to send that. you a message later. You said you're at work. You're going to be at work while this fight's going on? Yeah, I'll be at work when the fight's going on. I got Mike something for you. You'll be able to watch it. As long as you can watch it at work. Mike, I'll figure it out. But... But either way, yeah, I, I, I think I think Holloway's got the fight hands down. I don't think Aldo's got much of a shot other than fighting somebody who is scared of his name, and I don't think Max Holloway's scared of his name. Max don't give a um, shit. Oh. Yeah, no, like yeah. I said, not even, not even on a smash hole shit. He's just, you know, just I don't care. Yeah. Fight. I've had to fight every day. I'll fight whoever's across from me. Take yeah. my lumps if I lose, and if I don't, then there I go. He'll fight the devil. He don't care. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I'm in trouble when he, I'm in trouble when he fights Frankie because it wasn't good for me when Frankie beat up on BJ those times either. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, I don't. I don't have to even worry about it. there though. You know, not not taking I'm anything just, away from Frankie. I just I think that uh, Holloway's on the top of his game right now, and I think he'll stay there if he gets this win with Aldo. He's focused as hell right now. Really focused. Well, you know what I was just yeah. thinking. Honestly, if if Holloway loses, they might make him fight Frankie anyway. Just because another <laughs> fight is there for either one of them. Boycott. <laughs> that's that's when you boycott. You know what I mean? Like, fuck that. That, that's just the problem. That that's the problem with that division. It's, it's who's gonna you fight who. Seen, it's it's not. Geez, it's not that stack. Fuck Frankie. Fucking <laughs> make him fight Gray Maynard again. Make <laughs> him fight Gray yeah. Maynard again. That's true. But Gray Maynard, but like a juiced out Gray Maynard that didn't have to cut. Like they're just trying. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're like here, he's 190 pounds. Oh. Already swinging well, sledgehammers. If, if it's the Gray Maynard that fought your uh, Ryan Hall, I don't think he's getting out of the first round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 he couldn't figure out leg locks for God's sakes, and like wheel kick that slaps. I love Ryan Hall, but that fight was straight hot garbage. Jesus Which one? The, the 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 fight against Maynard? Yeah, Ryan Hall, yeah, Ryan That's Hall not Maynard, though. Your, your nickname's the bully, bro. Fucking jump on him and start raining down shots. Ground and pound the motherfucker. Yeah. Or back away and make him get up. I'm Jesus just thinking Christ. a guy like a guy like you know, Holloway's caliber or Frankie's caliber, like you said, like they would have they would have gotten in and finished that somehow instead of just getting slapped around like their Tina yeah. Turner. Yeah, I agree, hundred percent. I agree. Jesus so Christ. You know, I'm really looking forward to uh, specifically the main event of this card. Um, I think it's going to have a lot of fucking, like, the tension is going to be in the fucking building when these two are announced into the, into the octagon. Just because the implications of what it means for Aldo. And honestly, like, Holloway, Holloway winning a, his 11th fight at that point, that's got to speak volumes to him. Like, he'll be the obviously the, the champ at that point. You know, no, in, the interim strap will be removed and, you know, it, it'll be that point, but you know, at one point this division was locked and loaded, and it's kind of thinning out because you know Yair just lost, Frankie's getting older. If Aldo loses to Holloway, you know he's going to be whatever. Uh, I don't see Max having the frame to being able to compete much at the 55 division. If anything, he he would be able to, a candidate to drop down, but um, he could really dominate this division for a while, like Demetrius Johnson style, if if you know things go right for him. So I kind of am curious to see. What's down the road for Holloway and what he's got ahead of him? Um, I think, I, I think that what I just said, he might be able to dominate this for a while, which is a good thing. Yeah, he's you know. young, man. He's starting exactly. He's, he reminds me of like a young Nate Diaz, where he wasn't strong and now he's starting to like fill out a little bit and get. Yeah, he's getting his man muscles now. 
Right. Like, as, yeah. as they say, right? Like, it's, it's, it's weird, but he has all the skill. Yo, he started in the game when he was 20, yo, so he's still fucking new, you know? Like, yeah. he's going to improve so much, though. And can we can we bring up the uh, the fact that he he was one of the few to take our boy to a a decision, wasn't he? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Didn't he? Yeah. And so even Kavanaugh said that that the two best fights for Connor in the UFC are are Max Holloway and Nate Diaz. He said they're the two guys that he's most intrigued to fight. You know, <laughs> whole, on the whole that. roster. I'd pay to see that again. I would. I think it, it might go differently. Max is in a in another I caliber, like, another I, level right now. Connor might get his feelings hurt. Connor might get his feelings hurt. Honestly, <laughs> Connor, if Connor and if Connor Holloway fought right now, I think Connor would break his fucking jaw. But whatever. Whoa. Just, I think he's too focused. Oh, well, I think oh, Connor would break your jaw. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oh, God. I agree. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, he's heavier. About to pull he's Kevin coming away. in heavier. That would be a catch weight, and I think that would be a tough one because you know he'd be so much heavier than him. But whatever. To, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, whatever it takes, uh, from my personal standpoint, whatever it takes, to get the UFC to stop flying over the state. I mean, they'll fly to Tanzania and they'll go to Australia, <laughs> and do fights in fucking Abu Dhabi, all types of shit. They'll fight in the fucking backwoods of the Philippines and they'll fly over Hawaii when they do it. And it amazes me. Well, they're making they'll you know, they're crazy. They're making. <laughs> well, they're making Frankie and Frankie and DJ fight in Abu Dhabi and shit. Like number one, Frankie barely ever gets fights in Jersey. That's another issue. Yeah, that like is they wild. fly over the they fly over the whole state. And you got a lot of young guys, Brad Tavares, Holloway, and and pretty much a few established guys who you know were doing pretty well when they were doing well, and they never came out here. So, right. for me, my outside hope my outside hope is that you know Holloway carries the belt like you said for a little bit and kind of demands that they give him a fight out here. I think that'll happen. Uh, yeah, I really I mean, do. And I know, I think I've, I know I've said this before. I, I think it's funny that they won't have a fight out there because Rumble and The Rock put on probably some of the best MMA fights oh my God, when, it was, yeah. when it was running on. They were unbelievable. Yeah, BJ was fighting for him. They had amazing Henzo. fights there. Henzo, yeah. <laughs> Did he take on Henzo? He 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 fought I mean, Rodrigo, yeah. I believe, like out there. Shit was crazy. And they, I mean, it was they got the market. You, just, you you do something out here, and, and if you're worried about selling tickets, you do something with the you know with the Air Force base or whatever on on Oahu. There's six hundred thousand military personnel. Something crazy, whatever it is, nuts amount of whatever people out here. You do something in conjunction with them. Fill up the arena half with troops that you did for free. Make yourself look pretty. And then yes. you know you got you got a nice little security force too. But, like wounded you know, warriors, like the guy standing shows, on the right? beach. They do those shows that yeah, for, like, for the, for the military folks all the time. Yeah. yeah, so it would be perfect. Yeah, so I, That's a great know, idea. I, 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 my, my, my outside hope is that Holiday does carry it, and it, it lets them you know, stop over here, and the fighters that are fighting here actually get to fight here instead of flying halfway around the world every time they want to put gloves on. That's <laughs> terrible. It's pretty awful. You're right. It's a great Atrocity. team. Atrocity. Atrocity. It, it really anyway, is. fellas, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get marching. Uh Thanks for the time, and uh, you guys are doing a great job. And, uh, no problem. Yeah, like I said, Mike, it's so always good having you call in. Nobel bro. references. If you could call <laughs> in next week, discuss the discuss. If, especially if Holloway wins, call up. We'll uh, we'll talk about it. We'll celebrate the win together. Mon- Monday or Wednesday? I think it's. Oh God, I forgot to announce Monday. it. Next week is Monday. MMA Monday starts next week. Two minute oh, okay. warning. Uh, the Pride Rules podcast. So yeah, Monday. It'll be right I'll after the fight. If you could. You. Yeah, no problem, fellas. Have a good weekend and uh, enjoy the fight. Thanks a yeah, lot, brother. You too. Enjoy the win. All right, be safe. Bye, Mike. Be safe, guys. All right. Okay. Well, um, I guess we got to discuss that at perfect timing with uh, with Mike, who is from Hawaii and a big fan of of uh, love that Matt guy. Holloway. Love that guy. Yeah, no, he's, he's a good dude. So, um, you know, that's good. I think we're all pretty much in lockstep. Uh, oh. All right. So. I'm sorry, I'm having a little technical difficulties. The, the phone that I was using is um, is running low on battery life, so I, just I like the, the juggling up. though. You you do handle that yeah. like a goddamn professional. Holy shit! I literally just grabbed the other phone and started in, like in lockstep with with my sentence. Like yeah. it's it's beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. Jesus, <laughs> you're a but, wizard uh, with those lips, sir. That's all I gotta say. An absolute <laughs> wizard. Connor's a wizard with his lips and tongue. I'm a wizard oh, with this uh, this phone shit. This um, way, hey, it's profitable. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, 185 pounds. Do you, you want to talk about the 185 pound division, or you want to discuss this Gustafson uh, to share a fight real quick? I mean, it's only one fight, really. That was anything interesting on the card. R.I.P. Glover. Can we just put? Can we just say that? Like, pretty much. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. Like, at this point, 
Glover Teixeira is kind of done at this. You can't get knocked out by multiple uppercuts in multiple fights and, like, lose a tooth and never be considered anything at that point anymore. No. So, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 done, I'm, I'm not – I was never a big fan of his to begin with. Um, he seemed pretty boring you. and vanilla to me. But, um, How dare you? you know, he's, he's a Brazilian <laughs> boogeyman. I'm, he trains in Connecticut. He's, he's maybe like 40 miles east of me. Great gym out there in, in American Top Team. Owns the gym. I was, I was cringing a little bit because they were, you know, the fight companion with Joe Rogan, they were clowning on where he trains, all right? It's not a shed in Connecticut. It's a legit good school, okay? <laughs> ATT out there, all right? And, uh, but right. yeah, I, I don't know. I, he's, his prime was spent trying to get into this country. His biggest fight was against the Visa folks. Yeah, All right, I guess six, he was yeah, like a years, right? I absolutely. Right. I, I'm, I'm sorry to mean to cut you off, but I stand no, corrected. Sure. It, it did slip my mind for a second. Obviously, that's mm. where most of his career went, and it sucks because Christ. you know you're robbed of your prime. Right? Like he, Joe Rogan actually said this. Like he would be in his prime right now. It, you mm-hmm. know, if just take those six years out and, and rewind his life back six years. Oh, He's like what, 31 at this point. You know, yeah. So yeah, his career arc would be completely different if he didn't take that time off or, or you know have that little delay in his career. But, you know, at, at this what it point, is. it's like, mm. yeah, we were all obsessed with the Rumble Johnson knockout. And, and Gustafson, I mean, that motherfucker was twinkle-toeing and, and uppercutting him, like like yeah, winding up, like fucking yeah. Popeye yeah. style, you know? Like, that, <laughs> uppercut, <laughs> that uppercut was literally the full spin. Like, he was doing, like, the Zangief 360 uh, pod driver <laughs> on, <laughs> on the great. fucking on the, on, on the control pad. He went he all the way. His fist started in front. Vega. He waved it around his head, and bang, came with those uppercuts. It was, it was super fun to beauty. Right? There was Seriously. a sound effect. That he was he was yeah. open and available for a counter strike, mm-hmm. but he still ended it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep, and as great as, great as that was, as great as that was, his next fight he's going to lose, and then he's going to talk about retiring again. No, he's I not. I can't get excited it about this Stop guy it. anymore. You shut Stop your mouth. Get out of here. I can't get excited about this guy anymore. I can't. How can was, bro, I, can't do it. I was going to say at this point, where I'm going with this conversation is, What's going to happen with this three-headed monster now in this division between John Jones? Because he's talking so much shit about John Jones. Obviously, like there's competition now. Like Cormier, Jones, and Gustafson are the guys at this point. So, mm-hmm. you know, aside, injuries aside for Gustafson, like I see what you're saying, Tommy. Like he's got the most outside shot just because Cormier already holds the belt and he's got the wrestling in his, in his back pocket and he's like a bull that dude. He's like, you know, he's borderline a fat dude, but he's you know in crazy shape. You got John Jones, who's considered one of the best fighters of all make time. Make fun of his belly button, Pavlikov. guys. All right? How much, you, how much you make fun of his belly button, you fuck? <laughs> well, oh. I mean, Gustafson's already lost to them both. I don't think he lost right. to John Jones. I think he beat No, he's him, got the eye of the tiger now, Tommy. He okay? He's to got both. a kid. He's got a kid, and he's got a Viking for a, a, a soon-to-be wife. All right? Let's, can we talk <laughs> a second of how large that woman was? He, he, she didn't look tiny next to Alexander Gustafson. All right, next to like a six seven foot six tall. fighter. That's what right. I'm saying. Holy shit! Well, was she wearing heels? <laughs> no. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? It's sexy anyway. Leg like, lock. Fuck. Yeah, like, she could put me in a bastard. triangle choke if she was. Oh, she could put me in a right. naked triangle choke. Oh, I wasn't Fuck gonna that. go there. But there you go. There <laughs> oh, it is. You know, I'm taking it there. I'm fucking I know. Gross. I know, but no, <laughs> he's. I think he's. He's got. He he redeemed himself for that horrible. Display with Anthony Johnson, which that can happen to right. anybody, but it happened to him in his hometown, so that's tough. I think he redeemed himself. Uh, he's looking better than he ever has. I think we might see uh, a different roll of the dice. The, the The decision with Cormier was close. It was absolutely close, and nobody's taken John Jones to the deep, murky waters of the underworld, as Joey Diaz would say, quite like Alex Gustafson. If he has his head on right and he puts in a good camp, I'm excited to see both those fights again. I don't know about you guys. Yes. I don't. I don't know why Tommy just write off. All right. Just, hey, hey, right. I'm, so, I'm shocked. I'm shocked, Tommy. Of you of all people writing people off, like Thomas. you're not the person to hate somebody or hate on a fighter. You're usually so open minded, and, and you know <laughs> your your per, your personality just you know is all over the spectrum here. It's Even all over Keel. the rainbow. You're just not excited to take a stance on somebody. <laughs> Should we go back to episode one? When Omar did nothing but bash him, I think maybe we should. Who, Alex Gustafson? Well, we had to, because he got should. hurt. He, he had to pull out of the fight. Yes. Didn't he get hurt and had to take time oh, off? He, we, like, I, broke was, that I was shitting on him. And Why? Because he was talking bullshit. 
because he was sitting there like, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. Blah, blah, blah. And, I, and you know what bothered me the most about all that is that that man is six foot six. All right. His arms are the size of most of my body mass and he can be an amazing fighter. And he was talking about giving it up and going and being an artist or, you know, being a, a, a pen pal to people in jail. I don't want to give it. I don't want to hear somebody who's that naturally gifted at fighting talk about anything other than whooping that ass. That's why I hate Anthony Johnson and his bullshit tweets. He wants to sell weed. I don't care. You know, God bless weed. But what are you doing? You're a knockout artist. Get back and knock people out, you fuck. And God this is it. why I'm completely not sold on Gustafson right now. Okay, yeah, he had a big win over Glover Teixeira. What was Glover Teixeira's last big win? Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> Age yeah. and okay. time. All right, and ISIS. <laughs> we discussed this already, Dick. He was out. He, he was out in, for he did exactly. in spectacular fashion. That's what I'm saying. Like, it, 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 yes, it was an Bader. amazing, exciting fight, I guess, but <laughs> nothing for you to get excited about. Like, w- w- his future. It's, 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 he's got to show more. That's all it is. He's got to show more. That's so all. What, show what more? Like, so what, basically, all right. Who? I was going to say this before. Does he get the loser of the Jones Cormier fight? Like, does he? Is that how it's going to go? He's the winner. I think he's, he's going to have to get contender. the winner because who else is in line? He's the number one contender. Absolutely. Who else is in line? Jimmy well, I'm Manoa? just saying. You have to show me. Show me more. I meant like, all right, is that what's going to yeah. happen? Like Jimmy. Aaron Jimmy Manoa, Aaron obviously. Is, that, he's still. He's talking mad shit, Jimmy Manoa. Jimmy I'll Manoa. Knock anyone out of the division. Right. Like, what was that about? Nothing. Like, dude, prove yeah. yourself first, you piece of shit. Seriously. Go fight Paul Daly and have Paul Daly not knock you out. And then call, and then please call people out for God's sakes. Oh, yeah, that's funny. That's funny. But, um, you know, I, the only reason I said that is because Tommy said, you know, show me something. So I said, all right, is that, is that what, like, how are they going to show you something at this point? Like, he's got to see Alex. What, what, what I mean by yeah. show me, what I mean that's by show me means. something. He wants to see that no, white Viking What I mean hog. by, don't say dumb shit. <laughs> like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Because that just makes you sound weak. But, bro, I would. Are you kidding me? You if I had that much emotionally invested and I fought in my hometown, I finally, you know, like told everybody, you know, like say if I told everybody, hey, I can play the guitar, right? Finally. And I'm, I'm this great guitar player. And then I get them all together and my guitar lights on fire and it bites me and then it shoots me and it steals my car. That's about as bad as what happened to that poor bastard on that, on that huge stage. First time you go out to Stockholm, he gets headbutted and then uppercutted into, you know, next year. All right, like All right. I don't know. I it just it, I hate that he said it, but I can get that he said it. You know what I mean? I just I don't want to hear him say it. But now that he's back, I think he's he's got a little more motivation. He's got the family. I think that's a big deal. He obviously made it a big deal to put his family on the big stage. You know what right. I mean? Like, and who else does he fight? The 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 guy who who beat that other dude on the side of the ear. You know, Voldemort Volcan. Gokan, Vokan, whatever Volcan the, the hell he's Chuck. I was actually going to bring him up, yo. He he might be another guy on the verge of being a contender in that division. Like I, him and Manuel. I, I want to see him and Manuel because right. I want to see somebody be relevant after that. In my eyes, at least, like they they need to right. do something a little something you know a little more tangible. Although that little sidestep punch him in the back of the ear that was vicious. That was an exciting. I had to watch it three times to be like, what the hell actually happened. You know? Right. That's that's the thing. Like we, you, you know, you watch it in real time. You're like, what the hell happened here? And it's fucking. I don't know, man. It's fucking Misha, weird. It's Misha just, got Misha Barton. You watch it, and you're like, what happened? Yeah, wow, right. that was such a close little punch. And yeah, you know, uh, back of the know. ear though. It's weird how right. It's weird how a shot in the back of the ear would put you down. You know. Oh hell yeah! You like a quick shot like that. Like I've gotten. I've gotten punched like that. Um, I don't even want to, I don't want to get into the story, but we, we, you know, some people, no, you also I punch, the thing is you punch women that way. And when you hit them uh, in the back of the ear, well, so that's what I, you know, I listen, I punch you in the back, right behind the ear and you're a girl, you're going down, bitch. And you ain't getting up <laughs> and your boyfriend Joanna, ain't doing nothing either. Joanna Champ's I'm Joanna dressed Champion, in, in all down, green. <laughs> Joanna Champion's She's going down if I hit her behind the ear. Okay. That's how that's what it is. knocked out. Cain Velasquez in their first fight with a shot right yeah. behind the ear. Right, it's either it's either right on the chin or right behind the ear. That's it's that's the, the way weakness. you get knocked out easiest. If I ever get it into a fight, a that's where I'm aiming. Stone. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm poking eyes and I'm punching the back of the ear. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm being dirty. I'm being a dirty bastard. You know, pulling Coming joints. Coming at you with the two fingers. 
I'm telling you, I'm biting, I'm biting fingers. I'm pulling fingers apart. We're doing everything. That this the, this is the only guy who allowed. can like manipulate small joints. The only guy exactly. who can manipulate small joints is going to actually fight. Oh, to those I'm going to be the, There is no leaders. small joint manipulation allowed in MMA. Just, just yes, there is. There. All right, I'm My sorry. I don't know why I said small joints. Yeah, You're right. Is. Small joints are, are, are not allowed. Yes, I understand. Will joint be. manipulation. Okay. They will be. I'm taking fingers home, guys. All right, I'm putting them on my belt like a crazy Korean Viking. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are, those? <laughs> what are those? Never mind. So, 185. Oh. 185. What do we yes. got? <laughs> there you go. Look <laughs> at this guy. Nice little segue into it. I love it. Yeah. Yes, the 185-pound division. One of the most talented divisions in the sport. But it's in such a state of flux because of this whole Bisping now injury. You got Yoel Romero set to fight. Um, what's his face? Uh, Robert Whitaker, which is going to be Rob a Whitaker. great fight. Like, I cannot wait to see that fight happen. But, you know, it's for it's for another interim belt. And, you know, it's just not sexy when you hear interim belt. But just for the fact that this division has killers in it, dude, and it can't really sort itself out because of the Bisping thing, you know, we're, we're really uh, – we're stuck here waiting to see what's going down, but at least we get some entertainment in in the meantime. Um, I mean, Rob shit, you got this thing. You got oh. Musashi. Who w- did anyone see that? that I mean, uh, by now I'm sure you guys have all seen it. But you the know, his thing interview that, that shit see. was hysterical. The best thing with with <laughs> Musashi. The best thing in Musashi uh-huh. interview that was so great. That was He's hysterical. Like, Musashi yeah. was like, well, you know, the best fight doesn't the best fighter doesn't always win these fights. You know, like the same thing that happened with you and Rock called. Basically, <laughs> called this just thing sh- right out, yo. A bomb. Just right called him out. a bomb yeah, right he, to his face. That was amazing. And I, we need to see more of that. Like, his deadpan delivery, I feel that if they, they could really play it up, where he's just a flat-out, like, a well-mannered prick, though. But you know what I mean? Like, if he was a well-mannered just douchebag to people, just yeah, saying, you know could, what, yeah. You I suck. see the thug life treatment on that. Yes. Absolutely. Because he earns it. Because that's all he does. He spits hot fire, but he does it in such a way that nobody cares. You know, if you look back over some of his interviews, he Maybe gives a mean-ass interview. Yeah. Well, I think that, that black cloud that always hangs over his head is that flash knockout from Uriah Hall. And that's, and that's me, dude. the same thing that everybody has to say to him. So of course, Bisbing <laughs> said that to him. That's like his big black spot was just a flash knockout from Uriah Hall. But you know what, though? Like, anybody anybody takes in lands like that, it's going to kill you. I, I don't – you know what I mean? It's obviously – it's you don't want to get caught that way. And I'll tell you, before that fight, I definitely didn't pick Uriah Hall. I had all my money on, on Musashi. And then I'm like, oh, well, that's anything's possible in MMA, right, Tommy? Like, <laughs> like anything can happen. But the no, hell you're you going to do Anything it? can yeah. happen, but I, it's sure just going to be seen as a black spot over him because he's better fighting than he is. Oh, not even, by leaps, not by even leaps and bounds. Yeah, by leaps and bounds. It's one of those things where, you know, I can catch somebody in a leg lock every now and again. That, that I have no business grappling with, right? Like you can, you can do that. <laughs> if, if if enough monkeys sit at typewriters, we can all bang out a little Shakespeare. But <laughs> the other ninety nine times, Musashi takes that fight pretty handily, and I think we saw that in the in the comeback. What I love though was he fought with a lot more urgency in the second fight, and I think that's right. a result of all the shit that he was getting all the stuff he was probably telling himself, like I have no, you know, I'm trying to get paid and I'm losing to this guy, Jesus Christ. You know, so it's it's one of those things where, but good Lord. I mean, I would love to see him and Whitaker mix it up. Uh, I don't know what, what the hell, where does Jacare go from here, Tommy? I wanted to ask you this specifically. Like, what's going on? Yeah, I was curious I, about that. I, I don't know. know. Go ahead, Tommy. I, I could see Jacare getting the winner of, Weidman and Gastelum, I could see that. But like you said, you have Musasi, you know, hanging around. Did they so, did they pay him? 
educate me, guys. Did they did they re-sign him finally? Is he officially, or yeah. is it, are they taking? Okay, Jacare? No, yeah, they have Jacare eight fights. fights. No, no, but I'm no, saying he's 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 got resigned. No, he's resigned too. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh yeah. Okay, so then. Yeah. So, so at least he's locked in. Who for a knows while. what to do with him? You know, I don't. I don't know, but I would say Jacare gets the winner of Gastelum and Weidman because. The three of them are, you know, trying to claw their way back up. But what about you know, Rockhold? Top, so. what, what happens with him? Like, Who gives a fuck? Like, oh, Jesus. Who gives a fuck? Oh, yeah, all right. Let him fight for Doom. Hater Tommy. For Doom. Let him fight for Doom. <laughs> what? Let, let him tell me what. He's doing, he's doing all his fighting with Dana White on Twitter. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. He's still, he's still bitter about losing Demi Lovato, which I would be too. Not gonna lie to you, you know. <laughs> and then, and then getting left, getting left for like a worse fighter too. I, I've never heard of the bum that she's now hanging out with. But if that happened to me and I was in the fight game, I'd question a lot of things. I'd be like, you know, geez, what am I doing wrong here? Damn it. The reason, I mean, basically the reason why I brought this division up. Just look at you got Bisping, Rockhold. You can even throw Wyman in there, whatever. Uh, Jacare, Yo Romero, Gegard Mousasi, Robert Whitaker. You know, I mean, Derek Brunson at that point, like, you know, so Anderson Silva, you know, the legend, Chaco, legend. the legend, Anderson Silva, the best fighter of all time. Uh, you oh, know, but those goat. names right there are fucking deadly. <laughs> so, I, I, it's just, I don't know. Like just... that, it should be the most exciting division in the sport. It shouldn't be the most annoying division to these fans, you know, because, like, the whole thing with the belt, this thing getting it held up. You know, a lot of people don't consider him the true champion of the division because other fighters are, like, kind of apparently supposed to be better. You know, it just – you got a lot going on there, and I just wanted to kind of, like, talk to you guys about it and get some – and where you think this is going to go. Like, how long does this thing reign as the champ? Who knocks him off his pedestal when he finally fights? Is it going to be St. Pierre, who we actually forgot to consider uh, even in this division? You know, like – right, like Chris just said, his return is probably going to be the welterweight. So, you know – who even knows where it's going to go, but like, all right, let's say this fast forward one year from today, who's the champion of the, of the, uh, the middleweight division. Chris Weidman, Omar. not this big. Chris Weidman. I'm, just <laughs> oh. with Tommy. I'm being a homer right now. <laughs> Tom, I want Tommy's back up here. Hope Whitaker. Yeah. Chris and Chris Whitaker. And, uh, just did Whitaker. Um, mm-hmm. I'm thinking it's Masasi. Honestly, I think, it, I think it's going to be someone like him. Because now, I think he brings a bit more. Like Whitaker's got power, be, but he'll always be the bride. He's the he's the Donald Cerrone of that division. He'll Ooh. always be the bridesmaid, never the bride. That's tough. That's Come <laughs> on. It's not an exciting fight. He can still get paid. You said it yourself. You don't have to have the belt to to get paid. So I did say that. Who cares? Wise wise move. That's some strong words. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's. It doesn't matter. I mean, look at that now. So now there's three divisions in the UFC that are held up, that the the, the belts are held up by. And the Connor and Connor's not holding them all up, right? That's that's the miracle, according to to, to Tom. Right. right, guys. Much he was Tommy, about to no, it's all foreigners. Think about that. It's all foreigners holding it up. What oh, the fuck? Wow, wow. <laughs> that's a theme here. I swear to God, first it's first it's Carl the foreigners. Now it's Tommy. I'm feeling a little. Under the microscope. I'm just saying, if you think about it, have you ever seen anything like this before? In yeah. the UFC. I I mean, UFC. Three divisions. All, no. all, nobody knows what's going on. It's well, because WME up. doesn't know what's, what's going on. I think, I think it goes down from the top. If there was good leadership... I think that we'd have a lot less of uh, of a clusterfuck. I think Dana would be coming out and saying, hey, listen, you're fighting you, you're fighting you, he's fighting him, they're fighting, and that's it. If you don't like it, leave. But I think there's a lot of factors that are really hosing things up. Think about working for any company. If, you, if, if you're getting so much conflicting stuff, you know, on private communications, and then what you see your executives talking about, and then, you know, that retreat, that was like this Jim Jones Kool-Aid type of weird event. I've heard, I'm hearing horror stories about that. I'm sure all, all of you guys have, right? The Budweiser guy was drunk. The Reebok guy was handing out like coupons. 
Like here, yeah. this is your big, here's your big Yo, thing that, that you're getting for fighting. That Crazy. UFC retreat was number one bullshit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I swear, and that's that's prevalent in any language. Okay, so he's any like, fighter, got Brian coming out here talking about you know investing yeah. millions, and he's like, you got a, you got a hundred fighters in the room who can't put together ten grand at one time. It's like such bullshit. Like it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Like everybody's working from from fight to fight, and meanwhile they're like, "Yeah, let's unionize." I'm like, "Yo, let's. How about we balance your guys' checkbooks first, you fucks? Come on, get organized that way." Honestly, like I'm I'm mad in a way. They they have power, but they don't. They screw themselves over. Do yeah. shit like that. Like, why congregate everybody together? Like, that's like the exact opposite of what they would want to do. <laughs> right? Like, if, 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 there was gonna be, ever... if there was going to be a union, that's exactly the time <laughs> that it would have happened. It's going to form at the UFC funded <laughs> retreat at the new facility. You're 100% spot on. All you needed was somebody Sally fielding it up on a desk going, you yeah. did. Right? Just some numeration. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, the, the sum total, the sum total of that, of that whole trip was an assault charge. That's the sum total of it all. And that point, can we talk about that for a second? I mean, do we have a? Do we have? Is that on the flow? For the uh, yeah, Why, go for it, Omar. Can we talk about that for for a quick second? How fighters no, get her career saved by the fact that she's a fucking piece of shit. Her her Instagram account deleted, which means we won't see as many butt shots as her. Of her Thank anymore. God. Yeah, because a, she's not good she's looking. Like, God, I'll B, joke you out. Not at all. No. <laughs> she's a little cool. I would put your dick yeah. right down your throat. <laughs> no, she's disgusting. She's she's she's. I mean. You know what I'm saying? In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king. I guess if you compare her to, like, other fighters to get hit in the face, you know what I mean? She might be decent. But, like, she's terrible. She cyberbullies somebody. Somebody catches her and punches her. If this caught you assault charges, do you understand that I would have been in juvenile delinquency from, like, fifth grade to seventh grade? If, if, this, is, if this is the new normal, I wouldn't have made it out of, like, I think reform school before high school because holy shit that I have people picking on me at that time. And whenever I saw them, I just slapped them. Like, how is this? And this is their, this is their job. How are you right. pressing charges? I can't believe well, it. It just still amazes me that this girl has had five fights in the UFC. Hasn't won one of them. And is still contracted. It's the power that of the leaked me. photos. It just okay, goes to show it. you how weak the women's side is. You got it's so top heavy the women's divisions, it, it, which is understandable. It's, how, it's like that in every freaking sport and for women, you know. Like, and I don't mean to be like a diss with that. It's just the influx of athletic talent hasn't really overran the sport or any sport Not for yet. that matter. You're right. You're right. It hasn't. It's it's like where where the UFC was back like maybe five or ten years, right? Where there right. was like, like a, exactly. yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Put it this way: you could take the top two women out of every division so far. I know there's mm-hmm. only, what, three now? But, all right, take the top two women out of, out of all three divisions, and it'll be a competitive um, a competitive uh, sport at that point. But yeah. because the champion, like, I can't see Nunez losing. I can't see Joanna losing. Like, who are these girls going to lose to, you know? And I, I might have thought that way about Rousey a, a little bit ago, but, you know, that's because I was blinded by everybody else. Like, I didn't know she couldn't throw a punch because she didn't have to, you know? Like, she was just hip-tossing girls using her gay-ass <laughs> judo. Whatever. <laughs> she just poor... Poor judo, like it's, I, I, you know, I know. We, Jesus, so Omar, gag. let let let's get to the real topic here. Let, let, let's talk a little Kobe, Cody Garbrandt. What do you think, brother? Oh, please, let's. He didn't call in, did he, guys? I've been watching the board. <laughs> no, you fucking <laughs> pussy. Pussy. So wait, this dude let's, actually Omar, let, let, let's give the, the yeah. bodybuilder actually Omar, booked the flight to come let's give. <laughs> Omar, let's give some background on this to, to people who you might not. To. Yeah, we have to give the background on it because people who who haven't, you know, read anything on it need to know what's going on, which I'm sure they they do at this point. But still, doing our due diligence, Tommy, explain exactly yeah, Tommy, what's going take on. It away. Tommy's got the the ins so, and outs on this for sure. Right. So Cody, <laughs> uh, you know, on Twitter, Cody was talking about how you know he's injured with his back, and this Spinal. fucking moron. Barstool fucking buffoon <laughs> who is a, a bodybuilder. I don't even remember his name. I know on fucking Twitter he calls himself the fucking Shallow King. He yeah. should be called the Swallow King, like fucking Omar yeah. said today. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, decided to talk shit. 
shit to Cody, and Cody gave him the address of the gym where he could be found at. Catch me up to come. <laughs> yeah, to, to come and talk his shit to his face. So this fucking asshole booked a flight for June 25th to have a scheduled street fight. And not only is he stupid enough to do that, now he's going around making promo videos showing him just lift weights because that's all he does. Yeah. He has no fight background. All he does is lift weights. And he's trying to say that he's going to take the UFC championship from Cody Garbrandt. There's maybe he's there might be like on, um, yeah, and he's going on social media and going crazy. I mean, the only fight experience I think he has. Is maybe well, he's like going on. Domestic. He's going on podcast. And saying that Bellator is offering him a two fight deal, and he's turning yeah. it down because he says when he beats Cody Garbrandt's ass, he's going to get more money. Meanwhile, it's Scott Coker shit. is nowhere to be found and wants nothing to do. With this gentleman whatsoever, and I think he probably there's probably a memo going around around uh, around Bellator by <laughs> signed by Coker going if anybody does offer this man a fight deal you're fired like get the hell out of here we want nothing to do with this buffoon well said you you threw in the, the triple alliteration <laughs> barstool buffoon uh, beefcake and he's he's just what I the biggest thing that I take away from this is the man's still injured though. That's what bothers the shit out of me. I know he probably makes well, light work. Well, because he's saying June twenty fifth. I guess June twenty fifth, Co- Cody's back should be getting somewhat better from the treatments that he had done because it takes I, time. But I hope so. Here, here's but my shit. fucking issue. You're a fucking bodybuilder. Not even a yeah. fucking like. He's not a bodybuilder like you see on TV. He looks like shit. First of all, well, he, he looks a like tai chi, a tai chi master of years. Got the shit beat out of him by fucking nobody MMA fighter. And, like, does this guy think he stands a, a fucking snowball chance in hell to do well, anything no, against you're, Cody? You're not missing my you're, – you're missing my complete fucking – Like, Dominic Cruz would beat the fuck out of how much of a pussy this fucking guy is. You're yeah. a bodybuilder who's picking a fight with a guy who fights at 135 pounds. Do you That's fucking what I was saying. How, how much do? does this guy weigh? I was going to say that. How much does this fucking guy weigh? He's calling out a guy who's basically weighed what I weighed in 10th grade. Like, come on. Well, he's saying he has to cut down to 155 pounds. So, obviously, Still. this guy weighs a decent amount. So, you're going to yeah. pick on a little guy like that. I don't see you talking shit to a Conor Tyron. McGregor who's 155 or, pounds. Call out Tyron. Or, Tyron. Or, Tyron. Right. Tyron yeah. yeah. You're going to talk well. shit to – and, and yeah. the size won't mean shit because Cody's going to fuck this guy up. Yeah. And he's saying he's going to come there with a fucking camera crew. You're a fucking pussy. You're a piece of shit. You're a Jersey Shore fucking reject. You're trying to look like Mike the Situation, and you look like a fucking asshole. I think you're a scumbag. You're a fucking pussy, a cocksucking loser. Jesus. And I hope <laughs> you get fucking embarrassed. I wish you would call this show, because I would love to call you that right over the fucking phone with you on the other end. We're going to continue to embarrass you. I'm going to cut so many fucking promos just to keep fucking making fun of you and all okay. your idiot fucking fans that you have on Twitter. Oh, now, that, I got gold. Money. that was podcast shit. gold. I got great Omar, money you on cut that clip. Yes, that <laughs> right? thing's you amazing. Cut that clip and play Jesus. that and, and tag this fucking loser in it all week long. I want to get this guy to call in next week. <laughs> He, I, don't, I, don't know. I wouldn't even want to fist fight him. I would hit him across the knees with a fucking bat and then make him oh. lick my balls. That oh, put, it this oh. way. put it this way. Oh, God. Yo, he lifts, he lifts weights for a living. Both of you motherfuckers would beat his ass. No question. Yeah, he's, he's a, I don't yeah. care what muscles do. If you know the technique, you're winning. Like, I don't yeah. care. You'll, put him, you'll drag him into – Omar, you especially. You've been training longer. I mean, Tommy's <laughs> back at it now, but he took some time off and had an injury. Tommy would like, also this guy him, would be. Yeah, no. I like, agree. Let's, let's I, agree. Tommy, I know Tommy Tommy's legit. Got more, I'm not taking anything away from Tommy's Tommy. He's a good gym. He got more grit. I wouldn't grit like this guy class. fair. I wouldn't fight Tommy, him. you all look like a guy from the Jersey off. Shore. You do <laughs> live in the Jersey Shore. I would bite his fucking nose off. That's what Wait I would do. I would do you live close to this guy? He's going, do you live close to this guy? I don't even think he... I don't even know where he lives. How do you call him a Jersey Shore loser? You live at the Jersey Shore, you piece of shit. 
<laughs> no, he looks like a Jersey Shore fucking reject from the show. Yeah, he does. I know, I know. I'm just saying. You know what that I'm, would like, be funny if he lived, like, down the street. I would love yeah, it. I, I really I, would because that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. It's just a way for this guy to try and get his name out there for, for what I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're attacking a guy who's it's a literally joke. got a fucking title belt around his waist, and he's literally, like, what? he doesn't care about you. He wants to fight fucking Dillashaw. You know, like, that's where his mind is at. He's pissed off because he's got a back injury. He's posting, you know, Instagram videos of him and his girl all fucking day long. Like, he ain't even in the mood to fight right now, first of all. Second of all, no joke, if this fight would happen in the back alley, the dude would die, bro. Yeah. He would be Cody dead would kill him. when that fight Cody, was over. Cody, Cody would kill him. Yeah, Dominic yeah, Cruz yeah. would kill him. Mighty Mouse Christ, would kill him. I'll go down. That's, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. you don't even have to go that good. Mighty Mouse is too good for this guy. Like, fuck Mighty yeah. Mouse. Mighty Mouse Takeya is obviously Takeya beats Gaki. Beats dude, this man. W- with Tom Gino. Almeida, why I'm gonna go out on a limb here, and I'm They're gonna say wins. this. I think CM Punk beats him. Yes. Uh, Whoa. Uh, you I know what? CM Punk I want to see that dude. fight. I want to see that fight nobody, in UFC. Dude, the sports sports science had a fucking Navy SEAL, Marine, like like Green Beret recon dude, compared to an MMA guy, and they like went in ice baths. They did all this shit, and the mixed martial artist. Blew him out of the water in everything. I think it was Randy Couture, actually. So you know, it is what it is. He's you like know, he. At Randy the time, he was not human. The but yeah. Do we realize yeah. that Randy the was level... also special forces? <laughs> well, yes, but my point is, do we realize the level <laughs> of job. athlete that we're dealing with when we're talking about mixed martial artists, professional mixed martial artists? Like these guys are no joke, bro. They don't fucking pick up dumbbells or or, or barbells with forty five pound weights on the side. They pick up body bags and people, people. and slam yeah. them on the ground. Like, this is a fight, dude. You're not yeah. tough because you have muscles. I'm sorry. I've watched guys on steroids get out of the car, rip their shirts off, and I'd be like, holy shit, I ain't going near that, dude. And I watched them get murked in a second, yo. Like, I'm not... Muscles do nothing for me. I don't care. I'll be the skinniest, wiry, most Irish dude in the world, and I'll be fucking knocking people out and winning fights. I don't even care. Like, muscles do nothing. This guy is a joke. I, when I read this story, I was like, is he serious? Like, He's obviously just looking for publicity. It, it's got to be that. It's got to be a publicity move, PR move, or something. He's, yeah, like, I think. And, and it's, yeah, and I think what's what's crazy is that, like, I felt conflicted. I know Tommy. Tommy got fired up, and I love that we went in on this guy. I I yeah. called it. I think everybody owes me a dollar saying that he wouldn't call in. Even Tommy. I think Tommy owes me a buck. But <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, yeah. Right? But I. Uh, but I was almost, I was conflicted because I almost didn't want to give this guy any shine. Because I right. feel in my heart of hearts that this guy is trolling us and making a great marketing move by being a shit heel. You know what I mean? Yeah, but right. if so, he gets his ass kicked, what oh, what crap. credit is he given? What, because he showed up? You kind of don't have a fucking choice after you, you did all that bullshit on Twitter. You have no choice but to show up now. And if you get fucking embarrassed... But then he shows up, and what if he doesn't sign the waiver? Like, I could see this going so poorly for Cody. It's almost a, you know, for, it's almost a no win for no love. There's, there's really no way right. that, it, that, that it comes out on top, because I doubt this guy signs a waiver. Positively pulls in Angela Magnana or Magana or Ma- Magana. Magana. Right, right. He, she, he pulls one of those and gets, and gets lit up and then presses charges. I mean, not for you nothing. Know? She didn't really get lit up. I've seen video of the punch. It was kind of a weak punch, but that's neither. But it, it. I, was I, a half. It saying, was a halfway yeah. punch. I think. I think it was like one of those. She, uh, cyborg threw it, and halfway through was like, "Oh shit, I'm gonna go to jail." And she took a lot off of it. Right. I think it was one of those like. Forty-five percent. She threw it. Yeah, I. Yeah, Forty-five percent. I mean, but you can't say you're gonna go punches. down there with a fucking camera crew. I bet you he's thinking that Cody's not gonna do it because Cody doesn't right. want to get in trouble. I can see right. that. That's, yeah. But you know what? I think Cody needs to take it back to old school Brazil where beach. They need to go on a beach. were settled inside the dojo. Oh. And then that was it. Because this guy's oh. got no shot. I don't care how big he is. He's got no shot. What so what? You just have the camera crew take the, the, the camera, like him walking in, and then he walks out, and it's never discussed again? And there's only one tape? Yeah. Like the, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? The Hicks and Gracie yeah. versus the... A pro wrestler from yes. Japan. Exactly. Uh-huh. 
Oh my God, that would be amazing. Jesus Christ. I think yep. he beat him so hard that his son was like, yeah, Hicks and Gracie beat my daddy. Like, I think they did a documentary later on when the son was like yeah. 30. No, right? you're right. They they said, did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he's like, oh yeah. Who the hell is Hicks and Gracie? Is what? that the guy oh, who lost Anderson Silva oh. in the two minute one? Oh. Um, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm just oh. Oh my I have oh, that, that, that oh, comment. But this isn't, comment this right? isn't that us giving comment, that guy okay. shine. This isn't Jesus. us giving him shine. This is us telling him what a fucking piece of shit, fucking bar stool, fucking dumbbell swinging buffoon that he is. We're going to ride this, though, because not for nothing, it's giving us shine. <laughs> I'm not going to yeah. lie to you guys. Absolutely. Let's, let's put it all out on the table, all right? All right, faithful flight fans. I, our Twitter was hopping today, just calling this guy an asshole. Two or three tweets, and that Cody was because, sure and that was because I wasn't. He, Cody jumped in on it. Kareem got a bunch of people retweeted and liked our stuff, and that was only because I, I, you know, I, I didn't listen to Tommy earlier. I bet you if I had gotten on my on my Twitter bicycle earlier in the day, but definitely Monday over the weekend, I think we're going to have to try to poke the bear and see what we can do, I, and that gives us all time to come up with memes. So I think if we attach photos to our barbs, I think the, the internet's powerful that way. So we got to come up with some, some pretty disgusting things. Oh, we're yeah, buddy. Find... This, this, this yeah. isn't over, pal. We're, no, we're going to no. keep doing this to you every fucking week until yeah. June 25th when you my don't show Photoshop. up with a camera crew. That's then it's going to get worse. Yeah. Photos. My girl is great in. at the photos. It's going to get oh. worse until you call in. Yeah. And allow me to tell you what a fucking pussy piece of shit you are. Until you allow me to do that to you, <laughs> it's just going to get worse. It's going to get worse. The, Tommy is the Jim Cornette of, of, the, of the show, I want to say, guys. Yeah. He really is well, he's pissed it's off. It's people like off. him. <laughs> but it's people like him that piss these MMA fighters off because it's like the casual fan. Mm. Talker oh, on a fucking bar stool. But when it comes yeah. time to throw down, you're not going to do shit. That, that's the guy that's sitting in TGI Friday saying, oh, I could do this. That sounds personal. Oh, you know, I don't have the time. I want to hear you the know, story behind this. fucking excuses. I want to hear the story behind this because that sounds a little too – TGI Friday. Like, you could have said Applebee's. You could have yeah, said Outback. All right, well – All right, oh, so boy. here's the story of Fridays. Uh, <laughs> How did I know? New Year's Day. <laughs> New Year's Day when Frankie fought Maynard the second time. Yeah. And TGI Fridays in Brick after work when I worked at Sixth Ave. Right. Things being down here, Frankie, you know, he has a huge following. Of course. But for some odd reason, inside Fridays, there was this group of fucking meatheads who were sitting there, like, bashing Frankie. And I, I had a few in me. Uh, a daddy sodas? Are we there talking there about the daddy could, sodas? The daddy sodas, right? Yeah, they're sitting okay. there saying yeah. that they could beat Frankie, they could do this, they could do that. So I went off and tried to fight all of them. <laughs> oh, <geez. Right? laughs> nothing, nothing came of it. Yeah. I probably would have died, but <laughs> I that this guy is. That's, oh, That's the kind of person that this guy is. How did, you find him, how did No, but how did you find the one place in Jersey – that had Gray Maynard fans at that time. I think that's the biggest takeaway. They weren't Gray Maynard there. fans. They were just Frankie oh. haters. But still, yeah, they were Frankie he's, the, he's the fighting pride of New Jersey, for God's sakes. What else is, I mean, I don't want to shit on your guys' estate. I'm sure it's a great place to not, no, not really. What else does Jersey have going for in, in the MMA world? Mickey Gall wasn't oh, around oh, back the then. The Sopranos? We have yeah. the Sopranos. We have a beach, okay? <laughs> We're close to Yankee Stadium and the beach. I'm the same equal distance in the, from both, and I enjoy that. That's, you know what? You got me on that. And all we have tomatoes. Is we got tomatoes. We just have plums. Yeah. That's all. And corn. And corn. That's true, too. Sweet That's corn. True. All we got Sweet is apples. Sweet corn. Just have apples. Yeah. Right and Bear Mountain Parkway. Oh, Christ. The death trap itself. Good Lord. <laughs> and I would love <laughs> to throw that guy off Bear Mountain fucking oh, Parkway. Oh, no. That would give his death. More publicity than it deserves. <laughs> That's and, a, they you know, need it. and we don't want to lose a 
Be cool. That's true. I, know, I, I know we went. I know we went long on that. I, I couldn't help myself. It's been building in me for the past two fucking days with this piece that, of shit. Yeah. And I just, <laughs> I just want to publicly fucking humiliate this guy every fucking week. <laughs> I like it. We should have all a segment. Got, the Tommy. All we got is a. The Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all right that you went long because literally all we got other than that is some fat bearded bastard switching over to Bellator, which it's interesting before because me and Chris were talking about this yesterday and he said it's a weird, I'll quote him on it. Well, I won't quote him, but I'll, I'll, I'll recite what he was basically bringing it up. He was like, it's a weird thing for the UFC at this point because you almost need those people, those measuring sticks for up and coming fighters and, 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 you know, guys who have kind of like flew up the charts and shit. Yeah, I go over to share and Yair Rodriguez fighting, you know, Frankie Edgar and, and losing. Now you kind of like knock him down a few pegs. But you need guys like Big Country that are established professional fighters who you know are going to bring it. And, you know, yeah, his, his UFC record is 500. But it's funny because he said, like, what, what did he quote today? I think I saw in the news, like, for better quality of life, he's switching over to Bellator, I guess, because of the money. We've said it. It's well documented in this podcast. Chris brought it up. Tommy, you've talked about it a lot. Me and Omar have kind of just like agreed with you guys because there's really not much else to say. If you're not a champion, what's better to sit and bob around the middle of the division and make less money in the UFC or go over to a lesser fight promotion and basically have a little more success and be able to make the money with the sponsors and through your success, make a little bit more money as well. So, you know, I can't knock the fighters. I can honestly see more of doing it in the future, but I don't think it's going to be the top level guys. Like, you know, I said a couple of weeks ago, maybe in last week, I feel Rory's going to basically come back to the UFC eventually at one point because he's going to get stagnant, beating these guys up. There's not going to be any competition for him. But, like, you know, how do you feel? Like, Tommy, I don't necessarily want to ask you this because I know where you're going with this, but Omar, where do you think this is going? Like, do you think this is going to happen more and more? Or like, I think so. I, I think it's going to happen more and more until that Reebok deal gets – that's reassessed. But that's what I was going to say. Like, what's going to take? I think it's the main thing. thing. I think it's the main yeah. thing. The, yeah, but yeah. The, the, the funny the thing with the funny thing with Nelson is, yeah, he's five hundred in the UFC, but he sells. He has a lot of fans, and that's the one thing that Dana White always said he, he couldn't understand. He's like, this guy has a lot of fans, and you know, he he's hated really it. not that interested. He hated that he had a lot he, of fans. Yeah, exactly. He hates it. Dana hated that he was he, he was popular. It. He was like, I hate this. Well, his guy. exact <laughs> quote was, would you ever want yeah. to see Roy Big Country <laughs> Nelson as a, a UFC champion the way he looks? That's a, it's not that that's looks, a pretty shitty fight thing to so say. Fucking bored. It is. Okay, hey, he has a horizontal belly button, and he does just fine. All right, so he's carrying the flag <laughs> for all of us. With the winky belly button, Shit. all right? You keep being strong and powerful in that thing. I'm impressed by his movement. I Definitely. mean, Jesus. I hear his jiu-jitsu is amazing. Don't think I've ever seen it. No, I, I saw, no, no, because you know why? The, the one time, the last time I saw it, it got stood up against Arlovsky, and he's like, forget this. He had Arlovsky dead to rights in a Kimura. He was setting it up from top side Bro. control. Next thing you know, boom, they stand him up. So he's like, forget it. I'm just going to punch people now. <laughs> About, but here's the thing. When he was on the Ultimate Fighter and he won, like, all he would do is lay on guys and just, like, hit them with those little pepper punches, those weak-ass hammer fists that you guys always talk about. Like, oh, that's all he did. Like, you're such a He wasn't hitting dude, them with like, hammer fists. He was putting his stomach on their face and hitting the side of their head. Because Kimbo and that hurts. his ass. And that sucks. I've Kimbo wrestled with guys that are that big. And it sucks. There's nothing you can do. Unless you, you get out no. early or, you know, or you have an amazing escape game. You know, you get on your hip, and, or else you're dead. And that's the worst yeah. feeling in the world. And I'm not getting hit. I can only imagine how, how much shittier it's got to be when you got somebody who's got great top control, that much bigger than you, that weird low center of gravity holding you down. Yeah. And on top of that, he's punching you in the goddamn mouth. That's got to yeah. suck. Good Lord. <laughs> right. And he's got, you know, like, hey, listen, he's our professor. He's got the wide base as well. Plus, he's got that big belly. Like, I used to wrestle around with guys that are bigger than me all the time. It's a bitch to get out from under them. It hey, really is, man. They don't, I don't once they spread those hips, if they have any hip control, that's it. You're not getting up. Just not. Oh, God, yeah. Exactly. They pin you down. It's over. It sucks. Right. More power to him. So, I think he's going to make more money. I think he's going to make more money. I think he's going to make a splash. Who the hell knows? We might see him versus Fedor. Crazier things are possible. It's a fight that I would watch. So, yeah. God bless him. I'd watch him fight at this point. Mm. But, you know, hey. 
that's it. Uh, other than that, I'm really pumped to see the Aldo uh, main event this weekend. And I'm um, looking forward to switching over to Mondays next week just to talk about the fights while they're real fresh in everyone's minds, even the fans. Okay. You know, when by then everyone's like, eh, okay, you know, on to the next at this point. We've, we've read all the, the review we can read. But um, I think this format switching over to Monday is a good thing. And also the change to 830 helps us out as, as co-hosts because, you know, we got a lot of things going on with our lives, and, and, and it's just easier to get to the, the show at this point, you know. But um, looking forward to next week, guys, already. Definitely uh, had a good time this week talking about everything. want to thank Mike for calling in, of course, uh, Hawaii Mike. Um, you know, just again, shout out our sponsors, adkfightwear.com. You guys competing, anyone over there training, anyone over there uh, looking for rash guards or gis or any type of fight equipment or gear, check out adkfightwear.com. The guy does a really good job. It's, um, it's a local dude, and, and you should always support local businesses because um, – you know, it just it helps the the economy. I guess I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. Whatever, I just want to get this guy some business. <laughs> big up to big, uh, Black Hole Jiu Jitsu. Big up to Madama Jiu Jitsu. Big up to the Institute of Muay Thai, of course. Mike Burke, who's been a ghost lately. I'm gonna stop digging up his gym if he doesn't call in sooner or later. So you might want to get <laughs> him on on the <laughs> at one point. And um, you know, check out the Ultimate Fighter guys. I really think this is the last preliminary fight. Our boy Eddie Gordon, I have a really good feeling that he's going to take the wild card spot just because I have no I have no reason why. I just think Tom Galicchio had a lot of success for whatever reason. Just looking at his Instagram page since the show already, since he's fought Eddie Gordon, like I think something happens with him positive. He's just got a lot of – he's like training with a different team now. He's training in California or Florida or something. So I think something happens with him, and I think because of that, they're going to give Eddie Gordon a shot just because he, uh, he had already won the show. So look forward to that. Look forward to the last preliminary fight tonight. Um – And as usual, guys, definitely a great show. Looking forward to next week. And um, that's basically it for Omar, for Chris, who's been a ghost for the past 20 minutes. For Tommy, I am Carl, the show that stirs the drink. And we are the Pride Rules MMA podcast, sponsored by Two Minute Warning. Check you guys out next week. Remember, Monday, 830. See you later.